hold yourself accountable if you don't get it done. Constantly talking to music producers, constantly talking to artists, and many of them always like kind of mention the same thing how it's hard for them to stay focused, it's hard for them to stay consistent, and how many of them work a nine to five, or they have a girl, or, they're, or they have a family, so it's hard to stay focused. I have the answer right here. Purchase a planner. I used to be very unorganized. I would say, oh, tomorrow I'm going to make a beat. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But then tomorrow came. I didn't do it. And I didn't hold myself accountable of not doing what I said I was going to do. Now I try to set up on Sundays my week my whole week of what I want to do and I hold myself accountable of what I write that I'm gonna do that's the main thing hold yourself accountable if you don't get it done be mad at yourself because you didn't get it done don't just write it down and if you don't do it it's like ah it's okay no this is not it's not gonna work that way Hold yourself accountable for not doing what you said you were going to do. Plan your week. Write it down. I have a bigger calendar of the month and a goal board of my goals. And I have what I want to do for the month, what I want to accomplish for the month. I write it all down. As I get it done, check it off. Check it off. Check it off. This is the only way. If you don't write it down and if you don't visually see it, more than likely you won't get it done write it down where somewhere you can see it my planner is constantly on my desk because i'm constantly at my desk so I'm, i could see it all the time every single day and if you have a nine to five it can be tough but set up your days write it down and even get specific with the time so if you get out at work at five say from six to seven i'm gonna do this and i will not pick up my phone to check instagram to get distracted another big big thing if you have a family like i do write and plan and make time for your family after everything is all said and done they will always be there for a long, long time. I wouldn't make time like that. And selfishness, and that was bad on my part. I had to realize that family is always number one, always. So if you have a family, always make time for them. If you have a girl, always make time for her. Whatever it is, always make time for them. Always, always, because after it's all said and done, they're always going to be there, always. I highly suggest that you definitely read the book, Deep Work. Again, link is in the description. It's a great book. Make sure you read it. It's a must read. And I know this is cliche because I always gonna say it and I always gonna say it. And I'm gonna continue to say it. Please subscribe. Please comment below. Please like this video and share it with a friend. Share it. Share it. Again, purchase yourself a planner, set up a day, like on either Saturday or Sunday for the next week, set that day just to plan your week ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, right? Peace.